Vietnam's Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin is visiting India to inject new momentum into the comprehensive strategic partnership between the two countries and to expand cooperation into new areas such as digital economy and renewable energy. This is actually the first visit by a Vietnamese Premier to India in a decade and also the first Prime Ministerial visit since the two sides upgraded their ties to a comprehensive strategic partnership back in 2016. But Mr. Chin will be accorded a ceremonial reception at Rashtrapati Bhavan before he holds talks with Prime Minister Modi on the 1st of August. The two sides are expected to sign several agreements following the talks between the two leaders. And Mr. Chin will also meet President Draupadi Murmu, Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar. And we're also informed that he will be meeting External Affairs Minister Dr. S.J. Shankar as well. My colleague Mohammed Ghazali is tracking the Vietnamese Premier's visit very closely. He joins us with a live update at the moment. Ghazali, take us through the plan of action. We, uh, we have seen that how India is trying to expand its peace in the Southeast Asian region. And uh, we saw Finance, uh, Foreign Minister Mr. Jay Shankar attending the ASEAN summit where he met uh, the foreign ministers of all the Southeast Asian nations. But this particular visit is very uh, significant as far as India's outreach in the neighborhood is concerned. And that is why, uh, though India doesn't have any claim in the South uh, China Sea, but Vietnam is uh, already facing a kind of uh, hostile relations there with China, with the maritime security and the movements in the South China Sea. And India is trying to stand with all those nations which have any kind of dispute in the immediate neighborhood. And that is why... Uh, Vietnamese president, uh, Prime Minister is visiting on a two-day visit and he will be meeting the President, the Prime Minister. And uh, there is, uh, we will see a part of cultural diplomacy uh, being played out between India and Vietnam because in most of the nations, Buddhism is one religion which connects India with either Lao, with either uh, Thailand or uh, uh, a country like Vietnam. And Vietnam has also become a manufacturing hub. So, uh, and, and uh, considering the kind of uh, maritime movement India is looking for, in the uh, Southeast Asian region, Vietnam is certainly going to be a close partner for India. But besides that, digital economy, renewable energy, pharmacy, uh, pharmaceutical industry or the sector will be the key focus as far as the discussions are concerned. And uh, in the last one week, if you see the India's foreign policy is concerned, uh, the foreign minister has been to court, the foreign minister has been to the ASEAN foreign minister summit. And in both on both the occasions, the foreign minister was very clear as far as China's expansion or uh, relations with China is concerned. So even in this ties, though India will be talking to Vietnam to, bols to bolster its ties of uh, the bilateral trade is concerned or, or issues related to the uh, security is concerned. Uh, since India talks about neighborhood first policy or India's act East policy is concerned, considering these policies, the relations with Vietnam is very uh, relevant, very significant. But besides that, in, in diplomacy, if you, you have to read between the lines, certainly China factor will be the one which will be under discussion between the foreign minister or Indian government or dignitaries or with the uh, with the counterpart or the uh, uh, with the prime minister of Vietnam. As always, Ghazali, thank you so much for giving us the lowdown. We will, of course, revert to you for regular updates during the course of the Vietnamese premier's visit to India.